Amazon Kenny. Hey, quick question. I have a, um, just a brief question, I should say. Not a quick question, because I know it's not going to be quick with me ever. But um, post Father's Day, I want to know how we really feel about Father's Day. Um, I know it's, it's not a... Uh, it's not a day that I celebrate, but it is a day that most celebrate. And I know that some people feel certain ways about it when they do celebrate it because it's like, I tell you, there's a day that you must give celebration to the people you love. Um, and those people that you love, it's only one day to show them appreciation, whether it's with time or as somebody said, time and a smile. Um, or with a gift or with your presence. Um, I think that it, it is, it's a day that someone else put in place for us to memorialize a person that we should memorialize every day in the flesh. I mean, it's not like they're no longer here. It's not like it's a day of remembering or reckoning. It's a day that you say, I want to give thanks for you being who I expected you to be or who I thought you were going to be. And then I meant, that's it. Then, then tomorrow I don't feel that way. The next day I don't feel that way. So it's just baffling to me that we are programmed to believe by someone else's schedule that we must say or give happy Father's Day or happy Mother's Day or happy whatever day to somebody on a day of someone else's schedule or programming and we're okay with it. Yo, we got to start using this thing. Yo, we got to start thinking. If you are only great that day, then what are you the other 364 days of their Gregorian calendar year that they put in place for us? But that's just me being on my soapbox. And it's really not me on my soapbox. It's a real question. It's a real analogy of, yo, why should it just be one day or two day? Um, again, I don't celebrate it. Um, Neither did I really celebrate Mother's Day, but it wasn't for me to celebrate because I don't have a maternal or paternal parent here, nor do I have a choice parent here. So therefore, it's like it's a day of nothing to somebody like me. But then you have other people that it is a fulfilling experience for them and they look forward to it to even to the point where as though they got to call you and say, don't worry about me today. You know, like, that's crazy. If you say that, that means you thinking about me, thinking about you. But you tell me, don't think about you. Or don't worry about you thinking about. That's crazy. But again, speaking to so many people over the last couple of weeks, um, which we will get into um, a little bit later. As I said, we are going public. We're not going to be private anymore. There's no memberships. There's no subscriptions. There's nothing. This is, I feel, what's needed. And sometimes we have to pull back on the monetary part and realize that it's not all about the money. Sometimes it's about the message. So again, my message is, should we honor thy on that one day that somebody programmed us to honor thy? Or should it be every day because you are the greatest and you make me my greatest? But again, just food for thought again connecting the voices that's where we coming from connecting our voices is so important it's not about you me or anybody else it's about just what we 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 got to say that affects all of 